Hello, Dan. So how can I help you today? Can you show me something arty to do with this old sponge? Something arty with this old sponge, eh? Let's have a think. Hmm. Ha hmm. hmm. <laughs> ha! I've just had a great idea. Let's try something. Try using washing up sponges and scouring pads to make the perfect arty padded picture. Let's make it! But first, Dan, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> and we'll also need some things from the doodle drawers. I'll be back soon, Dan. <laughs> A large piece of card and some gloopy PVA glue. <laughs> some cotton wool balls. Hmm, we'll need some help finding the next bits we need. I wonder if scraps can help us. Hello? <laughs> scraps, are you doing the washing up? <laughs> What a stroke of luck. Can I please have some clean cloths, sponges and scouring pads? <laughs> ah, cloths! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sponges, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> scouring pads, brilliant. Thank you, Scraps. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything we need. So then, Dan, you wanted to make something arty with a sponge, didn't you? Yes. Well, how about this? It's a fantastic padded picture of a field made with scouring pads, sponges and washing up cloths. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Great. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is bring in our background card. Now we're going to take our washing up cloths and we're going to scrunch, lay out and arrange them to make rolling hills that look a bit like this. Now rip your scouring pads into different shapes. Now these pieces are going to be the dark green fields in our picture. Here we go. Place your scouring pad pieces on top of the cloths and arrange them however you like. You can even build your picture up by putting some on top of each other. Now we're going to take a yellow washing up sponge like this and we're going to tear out a circle shape. There we go. Now, I wonder, what's this going to be in our picture, do you think, Dan? The sun. The sun, that's right. Let's put it into our picture. Now we can also use these yellow sponges to tear out strips like this to make the sun's rays and also the bars on the gate at the bottom of our picture. So I need your help here again, Dan. You take one of these and I'll take one of these as well. And let's start tearing. That's great, Dan. We've done really well. Right, you put that last one on the pile. Brilliant. Well done. Now we can finish off our sun and build the gate at the bottom of our card. We can even make some hedges by adding whole sponges along the bottom edge of the picture. There. We're nearly finished. But for one last touch, Dan, we're going to add cotton wool balls for sheep and we're going to make their heads and legs out of torn scouring pad pieces. There's a head and some legs. Make as many sheep as you like, then glue everything into place. <laughs> and there we have it, a perfect padded picture of a fantastic field of sheep. And if you really enjoyed that, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a colourful castle with spongy doors, windows and towers? Or you could even try a beautiful sponge seaside picture with a spongy sea, sand and extra beach detail. Padded pictures, why don't you try making one today? So then Dan, what do you think? Great. Brilliant, we made it and now your home is where the art is. High five. <laughs>
What a fantastic padded picture. Bye bye, Dan. Don't forget to join in with all the fun at the Mr. Maker Facebook page. The address is on the screen now. And grown ups, don't forget, I'm on TikTok too. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Keep watching and keep having lots of arty fun. But most importantly, keep safe and keep smiling. I'll see you next time.